Uh, three main reasons, I think. Firstly, a kind of obvious one, I was uh, simply asked uh, to join as a member of the um, advisory panel, and I was very happy to accept. Um, secondly, because the project kind of grows out of the MISCO network, which I had been involved in since the very beginning, 15 years ago when it was launched. And thirdly, because of personal connections and friendships with many of the uh, academic friendships with many of the people involved, uh, which include you know, many, if not most, of the kind of key players and, and rising stars in, in migration studies nowadays. Migration is an enormous field, uh, of course, and it's growing all the time in various ways. Um, so I think there's a real need to try to create systematic knowledge uh, on the, the topic, uh, in particular the different types of migration. And, and this kind of resonates with a long-term interest that I have had in building typologies and taxonomies of migration in my own teaching uh, and, and, and writing. Um, so I think that's the first and maybe the most important uh, uh, reason. Secondly, the, uh, the important um, mapping exercise across migration, I think, is incredibly important also because of the scale of the exercise, you know, the tens of thousands of, of uh, articles and, and other outputs that have been uh, incorporated into this kind of migration hub, also projects as well, migration research hub, uh, will be a tremendous uh, resource for migration scholars worldwide, I would say. And maybe finally, I see a need to really um, correct some of the misinformation that there is out there about the field of migration, the way in which migration is often used as an instrument to create a, a moral panic or, or a climate of fear. So I see a real need to, um, to demonstrate to the wider audience that uh, you know, migration is what it is and, and that it creates a lot of benefits rather than uh, the opposite impression. Thank you.